Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today we are starting off here on our little boat um, that I swear I'm going to get to a tutorial uh, sometime. But we're here and I wanted to show you this. So I made an on off switch for our farm that essentially there's a switch that's right at the very, very top, uh, hidden away a little bit. And it just goes down and turns lights on so that mobs cannot spawn in our mob spawner. So I figured we could do that since we're going to have a creeper farm. It doesn't make sense to have this running and the creeper farm running if we're wanting gun just gunpowder. So it's kind of not necessarily like we don't need both farms, but we're going to have both farms anyways, because that was the plan. So. Today, I have some stuff to run by with you real quick. So first off, I started in on planning this. Um, and we're going to get into this idea here in a sec. But essentially, this is going to be a big gigantor building and I'm going to have to sleep, aren't I? Yes, let me sleep and I'll come back. OK, so flying up here just so you can get a good view. So I've started in on making this building and I mean just started. So as you can see, I have filled in the octagon here and what we've got is going. This is going to be a giant sort of storage area. Um, it's all going to be a part of what I think we're going to call the octic core or the quantum core. I'm not sure which one we should call it. Octic, because there's eight sides, or quantum, because it sounds cool. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to call it the octic core for now, but we can switch over to the quantum if you want. Um, but this is going to be the sh size of the octic core. It's going to be like as big as this interior octagon. This outer ring of stone is going to be all one building. So as you can see, all along here are going to be walls and that's going to build up to about this height. And that's all going to then extend. So this is going to be the entrance area to each of these little runways here. This is actually going to be all open, similar to like what those are like, um, except for the middle blocks there. And it's kind of hard for me to, <laughs> I guess, put this in the words, but essentially what I've, I've come up with an idea. I think we should go with making this city have four different districts. Each of these lanes are going to signify a different district. So the sugarcane area, <clears throat> the sugarcane area, this is going to be the flora district, which is going to be dealing more with our vegetation stores um, like pumpkin and melons, bamboo, cactus, flowers, trees, nether wart, etc. All those different types of farms you can think of that are green based, plant based. That is what is going to be along the flora district. And we'll signify one of these little areas here to be part of the flora district if more shops need to be made. And so then the other districts are going to be the industrial district, which the industrial district district will have like the weaponsmith, toolsmith, armorsmith um, and orrery is something I've thought about. Um, where we have like an iron farm and then next to the or we or or geez, say that three times fast. Um, you would have a refinery, which is where we could put like a super smelter or something like that. Um, and I thought that could be really cool. And then various other things. One other cool idea is a reverse ore mine where they've taken chunks of land and pulled them out of the land itself and they're mining all like mining the chunks of land here in the city instead of actually making a mine. I don't know why that just seems like an interesting idea. Um, but that is the industrial district. And then there's this other one that might take up two of these um, so that it takes up half of our octagon here. That's going to be called the all trades district. And essentially the all trades district, I want to be the miscellaneous store district. I want it to be like 
the district where you find the tavern slash the inn, the meadery, furniture stores, woolery, um, even like Mages Guild. We could, um, I've thought about including teleportation, similar to the Realm of Aston with boats, but doing like Mages Guilds. Um, like if you've ever played the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, um, the Mages Guild had a very um, interesting way of traveling around the world. You could pay to use actually you didn't have to even pay i don't think you just use the um mages guilds teleportation system and then you were able to teleport between cities and that was actually pretty cool so we could start implementing something like that um, and then doing other smaller things like city squares libraries things of that nature more the miscellaneous builds that aren't really like farms but can be cool stores that we can build um, and so that'll be called the All Trades District. And then there's other districts that, two other districts that I've thought about making. One is the Harbor District, which um, if, just to, I guess, preface this. So the idea that I'm going with, oh, that's where this chicken went. He fell down and then I wasn't ever sure where he went. Um, so the idea, I have no idea how I just made that. But the idea for this is currently we've got this big flat area and that's the floor for all the buildings. And so all this level will go up. But then outside of this, I want to make some sections that dip down and kind of like this is a platform and there's even more city built out in that direction. And there's like a big platform wall type of thing. I thought that could be really, really cool. Um, and make for an interesting sort of city shape. And then that one of those is the Harbor District. I think that could be a interesting sort of like flying ship area where all the giant flying ships are docked. Um, similar, like I think regular boat size. That's not like our little flying ship, but much, much bigger. And uh, then many of those, I guess, cargo ships, and things like that. And that could have like a fishery, um, I think we could call it like the wind sail docks or something like that, and then have like a big warehouse. Um, this building right here, the building that's going to be in this octagon, I want the building to be a warehouse for all the stores along these main pathways. And they are all going to extend a bit further out than what the octagon actually has. Um, but I want to make this a big storehouse for those. And then these central areas, the part that we're building, starting to build up today is this entrance area, this like stick outy bit. Um, this area right here that I've got marked out with this arch is just gonna be an interesting arch for funsies, I guess, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be open, this will be. And this from this point to right back here is all going to be one big room and originally we had thought about having boats coming in this way like flying boats like that coming in or like a boat coming in like that but then i was thinking that would be really hard to figure out the logistics of how in the world they would come in and then leave because there's not enough room to turn around there's not really anything that is like, I don't know, I couldn't think of a, a reason as to why the boats would come in here if we're going to have the Harbor District. Um, so what we could have instead in the Harbor District is having a big mine cart like system that is the loading system for like a loading area for a big mine cart system that carries items. And this is like the unloading and loading area. Ooh, almost didn't make that. And so they maybe come up here and then unload and come back around and go back to the Harbor District. That's kind of what I'm thinking for each one of these. And then these diagonals are where all the storage is actually held. And so I thought that could be a pretty cool idea. And it makes like this building would be really, really big and not have a purpose. And I kind of want to have a purpose for that. So yes, and this arched look is only going to extend to here. And then it's going to be pretty much square from this point on right to here. So that is the Harbor District and a nutshell and this minecart idea thing that I, I thought could be pretty cool. Not sure when we'll implement that, but I think it'd be cool to start it at least with that in mind. And then finally, the other district is the farming district, which will have your farms and we'll just have like floating islands and stuff. And I think that could be really cool. But as you can tell, 
just by simply looking at this city, but then also taking a, a, a think through the plan here, um, this city is going to be quite huge. Um, because I, I did a little equation um, and I kind of thought maybe one farm is equal to three to four houses. And by farm, I mean like shop, farm, shops, what have you, because each farm is going to have the shop on the underside, uh, similar to like our cactus farm here. And so each farm will equal three to four houses. And so I've got 42 farms listed right now. Um, as ideas, we don't have to do all of them, but if we did all of them, that would be like 128 to 168 houses, which in total is 200 various different builds in this area. So this is like a realm of vast and size of city. Um, so we're, we're doing some cool planning, I think. Um, but that's all the updating I think I wanted to get into today. Um, let me jump in. Actually, let me do the question of the day first, but I have to think of it. I forgot. I had it listed and I can't find it. Give me a second. So the question of the day is, what do you think of the different district idea? Do you like this idea? And hoping that you do, how should I work on these? Should I work on them one at a time? Like let's focus on the flora district and knock that out and then move on to the next? Or should we bounce between them and work on them simultaneously? So build a build here, a couple builds here, here, build a build there, bounce around, build something there. What should we do in that? How, how should we build it up? So that is the question of the day. And if you don't mind leaving an answer, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. And ooh, it's already spawning things. So we need to build this central building up and that is going to be a huge undertaking. And so it's not all gonna be built today. I just wanted to nail down the style today. Um, this week has been really, really busy at work as well. Um, wow, that's a lot of creepers. <laughs> And so I haven't had time to record, so the video is going to be late. Sorry about that. Just it's kind of how work is going right now. Things are just busy. So we need to build this up. And so I'm definitely going to only be able to do it in a time lapse in order to get you anything. Really, we're going to focus on just this, this little portion right here and getting the build style um, figured out. I might do some wire framing around, but other than that, we're not going to do anything too terribly crazy. So without further ado, let me go ahead and hopefully jump into a time lapse. If not, it'll just be a cut and we'll take a look um, maybe partway between now and the finished build to take a look at it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I have gotten a bit done on this building this is just a facade but this is kind of the idea that we're going to go with now it's hard to see because i can't really get centered here but uh as you can see the roof is um <clears throat> quite large and it sticks out quite a bit but i really don't mind it that much and uh yeah it kind of sticks starts sticking out to about yeah here or so and uh it's it's quite quite big <laughs> it's quite a big uh, big old roof here but i think it's pretty cool and in the grand scheme of things this is not going to be like very huge it's still going to be big but it's going to make this being big is going to make the rest of it feel even bigger um and so we're going to have the roof comes up to about this level here it's actually a little shorter than this one um but then we're going to have the other portion of it come up to about maybe like here or so it's probably like 10 blocks taller than this um something like that and we can actually like line if we can get on top of this we can see exactly how far down this we are it's actually it's weird because this plays tricks on you with your eyes and how tall it actually is um so this is going to be it's about midway, so we'll probably have the other portion of this building come up maybe five to ten blocks of this. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
maybe 10 blocks to right here. And that's when this net, oh, there's a, a fish, a fish uh, is sometimes I, I find fish up there randomly and I find fish uh, in our farm right there because they spawn occasionally and then die. Oh, two fish. Nice. Um, so the next portion, like this, this portion right here, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to play off camera in between episodes to figure that out today. I just wanted to focus on this, th mainly this part. Um, but I wanted to try and figure that out this out first so that we could get a good idea as to really how big this is going to be. And, uh, as you can see, it's going to be huge. So the top of the farm, the, the creeper farm is going to be like a weird sphere is what I'm thinking. And I'm not terribly sure what I'm going to make it out of. Um, but it's going to be a sphere and I know that's probably going to reduce the, rates um at to to which creepers will be able to spawn because we'll have smaller and smaller platforms on there but i don't really care that much because we have we'll have this farm and we'll have that farm and the sphere is actually going to be pretty big um so yeah we're gonna i'm gonna make draw out a circle eventually that is going to be up here and that's going to be there's going to be like a circular walkway that's on the central portion of this that you can get to each individual platform from or individual district from um but it's not going to be terribly big it's going to be like three wide and then the rest that's going to be how big the sphere is for the creeper farm creeper farm may be a little bigger i'm not sure but it's going to be interesting that's for dang sure now let's take a look at this for a sec so i i was looking at this roof and i was like this is a really boring roof so we're going to add two dormers on either side like this and I don't remember how tall they are, but I think they are going to look pretty good. They look, they just add a bit of interest. And I know I could honestly make them bigger, but I, they're already really big. <laughs> they're already pretty, pretty big for dormers. So I don't really want to add too much more to them. Um, and this roof is very, is a very pointed roof as opposed to being more of a, well, I guess these are kind of pointed as well. Everything kind of goes down at a diagonal. Um, but that'll add a bit of flair to the sides of these, um, either side. It will not add much in the ways of interest on the inside here because it's really not going to be that big. It's really just going to be like tiny little bits right there and we'll work out what they look like, but yeah, they're just going to be totally for show. And honestly, this roof is going to go all the way up like it is right now and we're because we need to be able to fit like a crane inside here inside this portion so maybe there'll be a central crane um like here and here or something like that um i think that could be really nice as well and so we need it to be tall <laughs> we need this build to be pretty dang tall but added some little details here just to make the entrance just a bit more interesting it also adds light um, that is one thing that we are going to struggle with um, is lighting this up now one thing I did want to try is I think I'm going to make this three wide and I'm going to block this off so all of this is stone I think or something else and we maybe we'll do something else some other block acacia or I don't know something to add a tiny bit of interest but not too much don't want to add too much to it but maybe we could do stripped acacia logs um facing in so you get the uh this little circular pattern and it's just faced in all the way up that could be interesting maybe we'll try that i don't know but just wanted to bring you in to see what's been happening i'm not terribly happy with these windows i don't mind this portion but these ones i'm not sure about because the spacing is hard um, i think i need to re figure out the spacing i think really the one that is just messing everything up is are these two but i could be wrong i'm not really sure exactly but we'll figure it out we will figure it out i think this one just needs to shrink to be the same size as this and the bottom needs to go up by i think it's just needs to go up by one and that might make the um, continuity of it be nice because right now it goes big small big and it needs to go big small small and then 
whatever, or have a decorative central thingy here. Well, I'll experiment. I'll experiment, but just wanted to bring you in to show you this to give you a little bit of an update. Um, I'm not going to be doing any time lapses, as you can tell, because it I just don't have time for the editing, um, and I wanted to get something to you. So I'm going to work maybe on one side of these and then try and figure out what a connection is going to look like about this and see how big this next portion is going to be um, because this is going to lead into a pillar that goes right to here and that's going to go up and over and there may or may not be a roof. I don't think so. I think I'm going to maybe have it slope or like do a parabola. Um, and slope up and the farm is going to be floating in the center um, but for that I'm going to have to also measure out the farm so we will we'll see we'll just have to see um, what happens because yeah this is going to be a pretty big task and I don't think I have a lot of time to be falling um, to be actually doing it but oh not enough need to go get my rockets anyways so let me continue building and I'll bring you back in when I have a bit more to show. All right, so I've been working on the side here. We're gonna take a look just a second. I don't even know what this is gonna look like. I've been working on this and it's kind of been a bit of a nuisance, but I want to add these little details here and I'm thinking we'll do this and do kind of the Mm, will that break? Yes. Okay, so we're going to do like... Uh, okay, I guess I can't place it like that. Like that. So a hanging one there. Let's add some walls here. And then I want to do a similar thing here. But we're going to do, again, kind of the signature thing. Uh, I, we will hang that in a second. And then we can do this, that, there, this, drop down, and place that. All right. So we break that and break that. There's nothing happening. So that is um, not what I was thinking would happen. <laughs> Let's grab. Is this the tower? Yes, it is. Um, let's just push this out a little bit so we can get to that. Okay, now it's time to break all of the scaffolding and so much lag sometimes. Scaffolding is a beautiful, beautiful block, but I've been noticing some random little bugs that are really annoying. Like you get caught in between um, going between the the like top flat portion and the climbing tower bit. And that gets kind of annoying, especially when you have Elytra, if you accidentally hit like spacebar or shift or what, what have you in the middle of it, um, you fall like really, really fast. Let's see, what does that look like? Okay, that looks, it looks better than what originally I had done. It really does look better. I need to actually add, I, I'm not gonna mess with this side right now just because of the tower thing. This is gonna be an interesting connection point because I, I brought this one pillar out by one. And so it's gonna be an interesting connection um, as it connects to this diagonal portion. Don't really know what that's gonna be like, but overall, I think this is a good beginning so I've, I've messed with those dormer windows a bit changed them up a bit and uh altered the design because this dormer is technically over the overhang portion by two blocks and it's not terribly good um to it doesn't look that great when you mess with it because on the inside you can see you should be able to see one stone brick i believe that is out of place but it's a, a must have. Yeah, right there. That is a, a must have. Um, and yeah, so I don't remember what exactly I showed you in the last clip, but I altered the windows a bit. I'm not very happy with the windows. I don't really know what to do here on the windows, so I'm not gonna tackle that today. I'm just gonna kind of 
go about my business and try and do various different designs and stuff and just figure it out off camera. It's easier um, to do that way, easier to think. Um, but I wanted to bring you in to show you the side. This is what the sides are going to look like, I believe. Um, and I think that's good. Um, the reason we're going with white terracotta as well is because this central portion, I don't want to be themed by anything. I want it to be like a neutral sort of color so that the like this area is much more green. The industrial would be more like brick and things like that. Um, and so I wanted this central portion to be not themed, if that makes sense. Um, but now I need to tackle this giant tower and, um, yeah, this is going to be big. I really don't know if I'm going to do any sort of detailing. I think the next, this next portion, I might just fill this in, um, with either white terracotta or what have you, but I think I'm going to fill it in, but I'm not going to detail it out because uh, that's a lot of detailing. Plus, it also needs the diagonal side of things. And I don't want to deal with the diagonals today in today's episode. I really wanted to get a feel for what this is going to look like and feel like when you're like way down here, or you're flying in from one of these. And I think you're starting to get it. You're starting to feel that this is quite massive. Um, and that's not even like the height of it. Because you can see that's going to be that tall. And that is the second layer to it. It's actually going to extend all the way up to build height. So it's going to be big. But I just want to take it slow and steady. And uh, yeah, so let me ow, run my face into my shulker boxes. Man, uh, let me get a little bit more work done. And then hopefully I'll be back to show you kind of the plans and what I'm going to fill in in between episodes and uh yeah sorry again i just wanted to say sorry again for this this episode's probably gonna end up being two days late because i am just like getting i don't know if i'm getting sick or what but i'm not feeling that great right now in this portion of the recording so who knows um i just don't know what what tomorrow is gonna bring so just wanted to throw that out there. If this comes out on Sunday or again on Monday, I'm sorry. It just kind of happens. Um, so yeah, let me get a little bit more work done and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, I've done quite a bit of um, work and uh, really not much detail work. Kind of just kind of messing around, I guess, um, with the shape of the building. And this is what I've got so far. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to detail this place up. So I decided to play around with this shape um, and just kind of make it a little bit more interesting. I think it needs a lot more work. I mean, it definitely needs a lot more work, but I wanted to just kind of play around and see what this was like, see if I liked it or not. Um, I may do finish this portion off here, similar to this, and then um, do another side and kind of try and figure out how a different way we could do it and see which side we like more. Um, or our, maybe I'll like make a creative version of this world and do a creative build. That might be a better plan because I really just don't know how to detail this out because it's quite a big building. <laughs> um, but what I've done is I've been doing some work planning out the creeper farm. As you can see, there's two circles up here and there is this, let's land on the balloon actually. There is this shape here. And so this is gonna be on all the sides and it's gonna go up. And I, I'm thinking it might need to be thicker on the inside. So it might come in a bit as well, be like three thick or something like that. But it's gonna hold up a uh, kind of a donut shape and that's what the um there might be a couple donuts stacked on top of each other and that is what's going to house the creeper farm now the creeper farm is not going to be like the most efficient in this shape and it's not going to be like i don't know it's not going to be the most efficient but that's okay we have this farm which is giving us plenty and if this is spawning only creepers 
it'll be perfectly fine for a single player world. So that's kind of my thoughts. And I wanted to make an interesting um, central portion here anyways. Now this is up at build height. Um, and oh, there are there is a creeper that has spawned here. That's interesting. Because before there were not any unless this is not quite build height. No, it is. OK, well, we'll have to figure out a way to light this up. The top of the donut is not going to actually be up here. Um, the donut shape is going to be this is going to be the um, top of it. I need to actually now that I think about this, I need to dip it down some. I built it at the wrong height, but that's OK. I've got this marker down here. I made one down there because the I think the item transfer slash storage system slash maybe other various things are going to be down here in this big donut um, and it's going to be like a glass walkway that you can come out to and walk on to get from district to district um, and so it'll be hollow except it'll be hollow and flat on the top on the middle portion here so it'll be able to hold a bunch of stuff that'll look cool on the inside hopefully but um, for now it's going to be kind of just a random little donut. Um, but I do need to lower this, I believe, unless I can make this work. I don't know if I'll be able to make it work. We'll see. Um, but that is definitely all I have time for this episode. I know it's kind of been a random episode. Um, I haven't done too much, um, in the ways of like specific building, but I think this is going to be quite a awesome looking build when we're done. It's just a uh, kind of getting there because this is a lot of work and we just have to figure out what exactly we're doing because I mean this is huge and then you get put up next to this and this is huge and I'm right now not sure how to detail this and I need to think through how exactly we're going to do that. Um, so in between episodes, I'm going to play around with some designs for the diagonal portions. Um, and then I might try and build this up on all three other sides because I'm, I want a mirror image essentially, um, on all three sides. Um, and I might also, I know it'll be a lot of work to change out, but I might try some different materials, um, in term in place of the white terracotta. I'm not like totally sold on it. Not really sure what I would try change it to, but I don't know. Maybe we'll I'll figure something else out. Um, maybe we'll make these faces actually tie into the district color. I'm not sure. We'll see. We will see. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the, today's episode. I hope you guys have liked it and uh, I hope you're looking forward to this. This is definitely a gargantuan build. I mean, look at this all the way from down here, even <laughs> not that I was planning on doing that, but it is huge. Like imagine we're going to be walking in here. This is going to be hollow and we're going to just stare up to there, a giant floating donut. And there will probably be a central pillar that kind of like holds everything up. It'll be a little bigger than this, I think. Not too much bigger. Um, but I think it's going to be pretty cool regardless. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope you like everything that's being done and definitely let me know your thoughts on the different districts and what you think about those if you have any ideas. So if you like the video, feel free to leave a like in real life and uh, that's going to do it. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next episode.